Well, there's his mugshot. That's what everybody is seeing this morning. Tiger Woods defending himself after being arrested in charge of DUI. The pro golfer blaming an unexpected reaction to prescription medication. Sportsnet golf analyst Ian Leggett joins me uh, now with more on this. Uh, Tiger Woods keeps trying to reinvent himself, keeps trying to make that comeback. This is not going to help. No, you're right. This isn't what we want to see. We want to see him coming back and, you know, ultimately as one of the greatest athletes that's ever been on the planet, never mind just golfer. I mean, we want to see a guy who's going to go out of the game, kind of like we see with Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicklaus, a wave to the crowd, farewell. But, I mean, it's unfortunate that something like this, as we were just talking about, if this is the guy down the street, it really isn't news, but because it's Tiger because Woods, it's Tiger. who's a very private guy for the most part in his private life. I mean, this is very out of the norm for Tiger Woods. Tiger's all already apologized. Here's his uh, statement. I want the public to know that alcohol was not involved. Uh, he said, uh, do we, I'm not sure we have the full, yeah. Uh, what happened was an unexpected reaction to prescribed medications. We know he's gone, undergone a series of uh, operations to the back. Uh, it would not be unheard of. However, again, it, it's how we consume media uh, we see the mugshot. We only see the headline DUI, and that's all we see. So that doesn't bode well for Tiger from a PR standpoint. No, absolutely not. And I think this whole thing will eventually, uh, you know, knowing Tiger Woods, I've played with him a few times, and he is actually a great guy to play with. I think guys that have played with him on tour will tell you that. But this will get turned into a positive, something that Tiger's going to be able to do. Uh, knowing he made, an, uh, you know, obviously a big error in judgment here, I think that's really what it is. This isn't necessarily something that's going to spin in anything any greater than that. So I think this will be something that we'll see Tiger Woods is going to come out out. There's going to be some, you know, social protocol around this that he's going to be doing this. I mean, he's stepped forward. He's sort of in the, you know, the retirement of his life. He's talking about this. I mean, he's created a new corporation around his name. Um, he's talked about being a good father, and this is not the image that he wants to put out there. And I'm sure, you know, that uh, Steinberg and, and his management team are going to fix this. Well, PR companies love this. America loves, if yeah. nothing else, a, a star who falls from grace and then reinvents uh, themselves. And yeah. they love this. And I mean, if anybody can do it, I can see Tiger doing it. So what does Tiger need to do now without making people feel sorry for him? Yeah, well, ultimately, that's what he's got to do. That He's got to come out. And obviously, he's made a, a small comment just about that this is not who he is and this isn't what he wants to be doing. So I think that there'll be something come around this, some programming around Tiger Woods, uh, some ma national media campaign about not, you know, driving under the influence. But, uh, you know, this is not the type of thing you get from PGA Tour players. This is the stuff that you get from NBA and yeah. NFL guys in the offseason, especially around painkillers. This is just not the image that the PGA Tour is built around, and primarily because with the PGA Tour, these guys are playing 12 months of the year. They don't have an offseason to get themselves involved into this, this type of antics. And so this is with Tiger Woods not playing the game of golf. I mean, this is one of the things I remember uh, yesterday listening to Jaime Diaz, who's a golf writer for Sports. Sports Illustrated made a comment like, I don't expect it, but I kind of expected it. Are we going to see, go out on a limb here, are we going to see Tiger Woods' name on the leaderboard anytime in the future? No, I don't think so. I think the multiple injuries that he's had and the surgeries he had, they, you know, and they're extensive. These are not minor little, you know, back pains. I mean, he's had, I think, three or four back surgeries now. He's had an ACL uh, surgery. He's had wrist and elbow problems. I mean, any other athlete in the world is already sitting at home, you know, thinking about what they're doing with the next part of their lives. I just don't think that the game that does not lend itself to the multiple surgeries nice. that he has, it's over. It's over. Sorry, Siri. <laughs> Siri. Siri, for some reason, just all of a sudden piped up and said, that's not nice. That's not nice. Ian, Siri, Siri is a big Tiger Woods fan. I guess fan. she is. <laughs> <laughs> Even Apple's on side with Tiger. See that? <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this. I mean, all the best for, for Tiger. He still Absolutely. is and always will be Tiger Woods. Absolutely. All right. Ian Leggett, thank you very much. You can uh, contact him at Lego Golf. Uh, and, in fact, why not ask, uh, hey, Siri, what, uh, what do you think about Tiger, <laughs> Tiger Woods this morning? Yeah. All right. Here's Mel.